Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. Wish you can bake. Um, Aquarius, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with moi for a little bit. As we take a look at the energies around you and your person for the month of August of 2023. And I was interestingly drawn to the Titanic deck and the Crow deck for your reading. So maybe potentially much like after all the inquiries, the U.S. and the British inquiries after the Titanic sinking that happened, maybe like you're here just looking for some justice and some truth, receiving the uh, rewards for your efforts and really focusing on what balances out your chakras. And this is most likely probably because we are focusing on your seventh house this month, okay? Okay. So the seventh house, Libra energy, if you think about it, Libra dominates the seventh house, is about balance, it's about justice. Now, granted, it's not always so much about, you know, you might win that court case or you're going to be okay in the hospital. Dude, bro, yo, I am so not a doctor. I am not a lawyer. I never, I didn't train none of that stuff. I might have looked it up or Googled it once or twice, but that's about it. So if you need that help, see a doctor or a lawyer. If you just want to have some fun with some tarot and see what the person on your mind is up to, come and hang out with me. Love that like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the awesome YouTube stuff. And do indeed remember, I go live every Sunday nights at 9 p.m. for a little astrology podcast. And Monday nights at 8 p.m., I go live for an all signs from Aries to Pisces. So come and hang out, subscribe, hit the bell, be a part of the familia. We love you for it. All right. So yeah, this seventh house is Libra energy, this truth and justice that you are looking for and seeking as you balance out all of your chakras and they all energize and start doing stuff. Well, yeah. We've got a lot of energy for that because we've got the Lionsgate portal, which the energy's really started back around like the beginning of Leo season, like around the 28th of July. And they're ramping up to, as you get to the 8-8 portal on August 8th, which like clears a veil and lifts the way to go through. And it's it's not Marty McFly disappearing off the photograph. It ain't that stuff. It, it's just more of an, a clearing of the mind. You know, like seven to ten swords, a bit of completion, a bit of clearing the minds to get what you want and receive what you want. You know, being like, yeah, no, that that I, that wasn't so good. Maybe we won't do that no more. But I did like that. So let's keep that. Spirit's like, gotcha, 10-4, check, message, receipt. And then that way it couples into the energy of three illuminations of the moon this month. It's not just two. You don't just got a full moon and then a new moon. You got two full moons going on because we are getting right near those end, the last decans, the last few degrees of the signs that the moons fall into. So the full moon in your sign at the beginning of the month will energize your energy to focus on that balance and the healing and be like, y'all better learn how to speak Aquarius or we ain't talking no more. And then you will cross along into the full moon in Pisces at the end that will, especially if you're an Aqua Pisces cusper, you will, your dreams will literally just start talking to you. Like you might even find that you'll be able to control your dreams and the Venus retrograde, that's really dominating your energy right now. Granted, we got all them full moons going on, one of which is in your sign. But then you've also got a lot of retrograde. Seven planets by the end of August will be in retrograde. Leave it to Leo to leave a mark, you know? Like Aries season was like, all right, let's go. Let's do this. Taurus was like, hey, Mercury retrogrades. We're sorry, but, you know, we'll help you guys. We'll make dinner. Then Gemini was like, man up. Let's go. Gemini season. Ba -ta -ta -ta. Then Cancer came along and was like, don't worry. We all love you. Everything's going to be fine. Then Leo's like, my turn. And here we are. Seven retrogrades, uh, Lionsgate portal, extra moon illuminations. Leo likes to leave a mark for their birthday. Do they not? They do. I know. Right? See? So, but in your case, that Venus retrograde, here font, the Venus retrograde, you're going to be your focus because Venus retrograding in Leo doesn't happen all that often. But when it does, it's about connecting with people, you know, more getting out, getting more active, talking to other people, connecting, sun card, Leo energy. Did I not mention that? Um, yeah, but it's more of like in 2007, last time this retrograded, we got the iPhone. There was a big change about connecting to people all over the world. Then it happened again in 2015 and we got the Marriage Equality Act, more of letting people connect and communicate and doing what they do, what they want to do. That's sort of an energy. So this year, here we are, we're back again and we're going to see what might happen, how you connect to the one that you love, the one on your mind and just go from there. Okay. So your retrograding energy is going to be the big guy for you, okay? So with that said, that in mind, you know, the focus too with the star card is big for you this month too, Aquarius, because that's your card and it describes the star Sirius, which is currently visible in the eastern horizon. Now, it normally makes its home at 7, 4, 7 <laughs> rewind, 14 degrees of Cancer. And uh, during July, around that point where uh, the cusp season of Cancer and Leo, 
that's where it moved from the sun. And now, mind you, it's a star. However, it is so far away from us. It is actually twice as bright and twice as big as our sun. So tell me, Aquarius dominates Leo energy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go there if you want to connect into other universes. However, it is so bright and vibrant that as the sun moves, as it carries on through the sky, it becomes visible to the naked eye in the eastern horizon. So something about the east is really resonating as we go for this. So let's grab this here with the Titanic deck for your base cards and Knight of Cups to the King of Pentacles. Time to go. And we will use the Crow deck for some clarifiers. Okay. And this might possibly resonate with any and all placements of Aquarius within your chart, Aqua, because we're FHA compliant. And we'll read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. And I have rambled on long enough. It's go time. So two shuffles, four Aquarius. These decks are set and energized. Here we go. I love shuffling while I talk on the camera because it allows you to connect to your reading mark. Okay, Aqua, let's do it. Ooh, what's that one? I want to see what that is. That's a sneak preview. Are we ready? Ace of coins, Ace of pinnacles with the world at the bottom. We're ready. It's go time. Let's do it. Let's love this deck for the amazing Aquarians. Here we go, boys and girls and children of all ages over 18. Uh, seven of swords. So yeah, a lot of up in your feels energy, trying to keep this real. You want to bring out that 10 of cups with the four of wands to the hermit Virgo on Aries energy and the devil. Maybe it's a Cappy Aquarius cusper energy pulling out of this, but this is your wish and it's what you're going for and what you're having granted to you. And you've been freaking focusing on it and obsessing about it because underneath it is you, the star card. So um, literally what I was just mentioning about serious affecting like everybody, you know, that's your energy there and showing that there's a guiding light trying to bring you home the quieter you've been. You've been really quiet about this with that hermit card, Virgo energy. Well, let's see where it goes, all right? Your present position with the two of swords, wanting to take a little bit of a leap of faith and a chance at this, but you're still out in the water floating along there blindfolded and unsure where to go and where to proceed with this. It's like you, you, you've you already been along over this situation, two of swords, underneath this new moon and Leo energy that's around the 16th of the month that it's going to get you to a point of like you're tired of being poked. This is they they keep wanting to poke the bear and sweep the situation under the rug until they got Mount Rushmore and you can't fight it, can't deny it in the immediate influence with the seven of cups because you are tired of being a freaking stinking option. Scorpio energy along with Libra energy shows up already because you've been trying to move on for years now, trying to find other options, other choices and other things. Your immediate influence is this and them continuing to not want to leave you alone seven of cups the two of swords you're like give me some time i need to figure out what i want to do and they're like no, no you want to do this you want to do that you might have more options coming to you than you know what to do with here it's kind of like they think they own you in a way with this air to the water energy but your goal or destiny out of this is the queen of cups love cancer energy little pisces i'm pulling off of this one as well maybe aqua i mentioned the aqua pisces thing already here but i'm picking up like okay yeah i'm see oh Seven of Cups to the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio energy on that Two of Swords. This started life as a friends with benefits. We had an F boy, F girl situation here. One y'all or somebody, you know, you're all into the Seven of Cups passion. We, no judgment, judgment free zone. We're fine with that. But the thing about this is that's how they saw you. Then they started to develop feelings, Queen of Cups. And all of a sudden it went from just, you know, a couple of fun hours after work to I kind of want to hang out with Aquarius more. And that's when they that's when they realized they shouldn't have done what they did, because now there's an elephant in the room you can't ignore. Maybe even something drinking, because then I start hearing baby elephant walk by freaking and it's by Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk? How old are you, Archer? Oh, my God. OK, meanwhile, we're going to go back to the distant past here with the six of wands. You um, you got what you wanted and ended a fight here, because what I'm pulling off of this was the victory needed to walk away. Almost like you you didn't want to give up on it. You didn't want to give going. And Spirit's like, look, if you ate a cups on this one, you will get some six of wands out of it with a victory on this one. Leo energy, which I'm pulling off the Scorpio Cancer energy. Even Pisces, though. Pisces, that little fish keeps floating up the stream there, drawing me to the water. Even in this card, the Queen of Cups, I'm being drawn to the water out the window. I don't think she's actually on the Titanic yet because that, the, that window treatment wasn't on the Titanic. There were no, like, brass poles and pillars i've got blueprints on the ship i know what it was i know what the window trim looked like anyways meanwhile your recent past more than the six of wands because if it's a good victory maybe this person is indeed the one the one on your mind hmm, full card my july take a drink card this thing popped up more times than i care to count and then your card the star card took over after that where all of a sudden the star card started wandering around the table all by itself showing up in readings all by itself an energy of artificial intelligence that just started propelling it 
Uh, dude, I, I'm seeing a fight where somebody had to get away from an entire situation, a complete reset, pull a plug, cut the cord, et cetera, and so forth to get past this one. It was like a fight to end all fights where someone's driving down, like someone's driving down the road. Again, we're dri- eastbound and down. We're driving towards the east. Someone's on the floor. They're like down for the count. Someone's driving east, a fool car, trying to find a new way out of this, following the sun. I hear I'll follow the sun by the Beatles. And But then Edgar Allan Poe shows up with the telltale heart beaten down on this one here. Something in the floorboards in the back of their mind keeps going off like the telltale heart, giving it all away. It's like water. I keep hearing cringe. Matt Mason, cringe? Interesting. What's the future influence on that one? Page of Cups, love. I saw you on the water. I saw you on the water. So this is something new and a little more of an immature energy of trying to come back to this. There's some kind of a family connection here. We'll put more on it when I get clarifiers on this. Like there's something to do with family here and like a really depressed like cousin, stepbrother, stepsister, somebody who's family that wanted to be more than family. And you're kind of like, you're just family. Please leave me alone. Quotations, trademark. But that is your incoming energy because I got a feeling this here is some of your incoming energy. I keep pulling two cards instead of one, which is very interesting. Five of swords. That fight comes back. The telltale heart. They can't get it off their mind. Something they did or something they said went way too far. And they felt like they had to bail cut. Like, oh, God, there's no turning back from this. I got to do something about it. What are we going to do? That's how we get to the environmental factors, which which is the eight of pentacles right there. Gordon Ramsay shows up filling in for Bob Ross and being like, yeah, painted a freaking ugly bush. You got to do it again. But you, uh, dude, you guys are both working hardcore on this. This is like planning, scheming, plotting, looking down, trying to figure out what are you going to do? And then just like trying to sweep it all back under that rug we talked about. Seven and eight means something along with two on this one. And the 10th, yeah, page of pentacles. Wow, a lot of page. This was childish. These are young people. I'm talking to people like under the age of 30 here. I mean, you could be any age. Maybe you feel more innocent and immature. But I'm hitting on a whole different genre. It's a genre. With this page of pentacles, your inner emotions are kind of childish and mature, like unsure what to do. Like how somebody who's a child who doesn't understand the re- the consequences of their reactions, that just goes for it, takes a chance, and is like, oh, crap, F that one up. What I do? Mm. And then like hoping to take these situations and page of cups it. Look how grumpy he is, dude. He, I keep looking at that, that grumpy future page of cups, trying to figure out what to do and just wanting to take all the confusion toss it in the water like a lucky penny and hope that you get your wish on that four of wands we saw underneath here. And 7-7 seven, seven could mean something to you. And that ties into those portals, July 7th or heavy cancer energy off of that. Let's get clarifiers on it because your outcome is a seven of swords, being stuck on something to go forward on this one, wanting to keep it real. With the freaking emperor at the bottom, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, and Aqua. That's you. Okay, let's go. Page of Pentacles could be a little Capricornish too, if you want it to be. But take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I want clarifiers. Let's start out with the back row. Give me some clarifiers on this, because you spent a long time feeling like you were in your head, like above the water, like under the water, and wanting to be above the water, like when right there turn out, you know, and like right there. And so, like, you want to rise to the surface and jailbreak this stuff, because you've been in this cycle for way too long. This has been a fight that happened multiple times, but then, like, this time, it just turned into a little bit too much over the top where Edgar Allan Poe keeps showing up quote the raven never more to the telltale heart interesting okay give me those clarifiers por favor please back row to a sword seven cups queen of cups cancer Ooh, flipper they called him flipper why am I being so drawn to water stuff right now seven of cups um yeah archer's clarifier card here saying you don't really need to clarify this anymore archer um oh boy uh, listen here, Roseboard, check out those clarified. 777 does show that throwing that in the water, that lucky penny, we'll call it, whatever this Seven of Cups was, to another Seven of Cups on a Two of Swords, was like the only option you had. Hmm. With the Nine of Wands at the bottom, Sag Scorpio, Scorpitarius. I'm pulling heavy Leo and heavy Scorpitarius energy on this. A Scorpio who's got just a little bit more Sagittarius in their chart than they bargained for. You know what I mean? Sagittarius, that's a lot to handle, too. That's a that's a live wire freaking arrow, Sagittarius. But the knowledge, ooh, the knowledge goes deep, right? Four of Pentacles. Yep. Had to shut down because you were tired of being an option on this here. They saw you in, in a seven of cups option. And just to just have some fun, keep it guarded, just whatever. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens at home stays at home. 
But then they started to develop feelings, and it was already too late to go back. They had already locked away the love in a freaking vault the size of Davy Jones' locker casket going to the bottom of the freaking Atlantic Ocean down there. Maybe hanging out in the Titanic's hull. Queen of Cups, is that why you made me use the Titanic deck? I wanted to sit down and use the Grand Theft Auto deck. And it's like, no, Titanic. And I'm like, ah, Titanic, I've done that boat forever. Nope, more Titanic required. I'm like, okay. So somebody here goes deep into the bottom of the ocean. Two of freaking swords. Oh, my word. I just got chills, dude. Aquarius, I just got chills. You've got double clarifiers. This has happened in a Libra reading back in July when I was down in Indiana. And now it's happening here. I've got two swords twice in the same freaking row of cards. And the seven of cups in the same freaking row of cards. There's a heart beating underneath the floorboards here for someone that they cannot get over. And I'm pulling dates beyond belief. I'm seeing August 10th, 810. Numerologically, that breaks down to a nine. You might be a life path number nine or something about August 10th, Leo season. Something about that is a crazy little clarifier that's like somebody here is like lips are sealed. I got so many secrets that I'm going to need a second casket when I go just to take them all with me. But they started loving you. They were closed off to this situation and then started loving you, but it was too late to love you. Give me more on the past here, because with these extra clarifiers, oh my God, the energy at the bottom of the deck is a queen of cups. Queen of cups on the queen of cups. Like literally, do I need to keep going on this one? We got like friggin' everything here. I'm hearing the names Heath or Heather, Jaden or Jalen. And the freaking East and the sun rising in the East keeps coming up. Double Queen of Cups, double Two of Swords, two, two, seven, seven, Queen, Queen, Pair of Queens. Could be a same sex situation, or like I mentioned, something with the family. It's like a stepbrother or stepsisters, you know, something here that, you know, it, it, it couldn't have gone that. Maybe the foster system's at play. All right, give me down here to the Six of Wands Fool card energy. So I'm picking up freaking heavy duty Scorpitarius, November 20th. Whoa, that is like freaking cusp season. That's a Scorpio that does not know how to handle their Sagittarian placements. Uh, yeah, you need to get just a little further into Scorpio or Sag season to really make that stuff work out. And Leo, Leo energy, November 20th, 1120. That breaks down. And then the August 10th connection. Give me clarifiers. Nine of cups. Wow, we're in the water here. Um, this person saw and sees everything with you, dude. This is freaky. On the six of the six of stinking wands shows up again. Double Caitlin Petties. There's two Caitlin Petties. It's like when I had that dude fill in for me, Jan's Hugglebuck. He's just this awesome Swedish chap, right? But he, he just looks a lot like me. And he just comes and sits down, fills in, runs off with the money, runs off with the everything. Uh, it, 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 is it me right now? I don't know. Who knows? Y'all Swedish, right? Dude, you got double six of wands. I'm getting so many clarifiers. Just like, Archer, you should just stop the reading now because you're like doing good. The lyrics to I Saw You, the lyrics to Cringe just showed back up. She said, I'm looking like a bad man, smooth criminal. She said, Page of Cups. She said, my spirit doesn't move like it did before. My spirit doesn't move like it did before. Six of Pentacles, six, six. You got a lot of freaking numbers here. Seven, seven, two. You're watching freaking portals, aren't you? You're watching every portal from the one, one portal New Year's all the way to the 12, 12 portal at the end of the freaking year. She said, I don't look like me no more. Like a rebirth, six of Pentacles to a six of wands, because this happened in the here and now on the page of cups to the freaking four of cups and overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I said, I'm just tired. And she said, yeah, you're just high. And I said, I saw you on the water. I saw you in the water. Why does that song cringe keep coming up and giving me chills down there in the four of stinking cups? It's like hoping that somebody energetically crosses your path, but like against your will yet for a reason. And once it happens, you want to be found. I see like something blossoming, cherry blossoms, heath blossoms, blossoms, wherever it comes from to go to. I don't know what you've got doing to me, Aquarius. You have amazing freaking readings. In the meantime, you turned off your mind. You're like just popping popcorn, queen of wands. And wanting to do is to get more freaking Leo if we didn't have enough of that already. You're just like sitting. It's like tomorrow never knows. Turn off your mind. Relax and float downstream. It's not dying. It's not dying. That's, dude, a lot of music coming out with this. And the Queen of Wands is that third time's a charm. Like this Queen of Cups on the Queen of Wands is, is I mentioned Cancer Leo, Cusper energy that goes on with this battle. So your incoming energy towards the emotions is, oh, wow. And it's fun flip, like a role reversal situation where like somebody went over this here. It's like, boom, that once the change comes in, you spent way too long feeling like you were in above your head. And this is freaking jailbreak energy, like jailbreaking an iPhone with the Ace of Wands. They freaking want you, Aquarius. There was something here hot to trot, and they wanted something going on. 
and your gifts are lightning and heightening. You might be an Aquarius Pisces cusper with that Queen of Cups screaming at me. The water energy goes nuts, but I did hmm, death card. This is the end, man. Whoa, the end, my friend. Time for a rebirth. Look at how that crow's like already like the skeleton's showing. This was an end point going on. Heavy Leo, heavy Scorpio energy. This is friggin' up there in the Queen of Wands to the death card. Something about that resonates to this one that like you were lost and this awakening, this lifting of the Pernubian veil during the Lionsgate portal is something that allows you to be to be found because you connect with your dreams, Aquarius, and it, it draws them in. This winds up being like late night talks with the full cart. One, one, 11, half the 11, 11 cart. This is your dreams literally is freaking starting to talk to you that you come in and you rise together. Where's the stinking fool? Where's Rose in her freaking white dress that probably didn't really exist in 1911? It's supposed to be 1911 fashion. I don't know. Whatever. James Cameron, whatever. But anyways, double full of card. We've got so many confirmations on what I'm touching to here. This is like leveling up through this Lionsgate portal and that full moon in Aquarius that energizes you at the beginning of the month to find the answers, find the truth, just find stuff. And it connects you all to each other to guide you both back home towards each other. Your dreams are freaking telling you everything because it's a level of ascension that is like un freaking matchable, man. Up till 3 a.m. This is like, dude, with all that pool card, all the synchronicities, the ones, the twos, the sevens, and the nines, you could be any of those life path numbers or even just what would that be? One, two, seven, nine. Maybe one, two, seven, nine is a number that rates you, radiates to you. Two ones, one, two, one, nine. I don't know. Check out angel, or just get like a whole angel numbers book and make an evening of reading the thing. I don't know, a lot of numbers. But it's like the dreams that you talked about and, and unlocking with like jailbreaking an iPhone to bring in all that stuff you wanted. Eight of cups. More Scorpio. Scorpio and Leo are freaking dominating this reading, y'all. And there's your ten of cups. That brings us back together because somebody had to go through those options, weigh out the situations, come to an end to find that Scorpio energy to bring in the Pisces 10 cups energy that makes you just freaking stinking happy and goes frick distance right there. This is like going from just so freaking busted to writing the meaning of life down on a napkin and just being like here and your person picks it up and they're like, oh, yeah, I get it for sure. You know, it's like, keep that, keep that. It's very, very important. It's the meaning of freaking life on a cocktail napkin. But you guys just get it. Because you're on a level that y'all have only dreamed about with the chariot. And this is spirit guiding you guys back together to find that answer. Almost like self-propelled autopilot night rider kit energy. Finding the bad guys. Foot on the gas. No, I'm going to crash. Something about that new moon in Leo too. This could be a Cancer Leo chariot. Either way. Heavy Leo. Heavy Scorpio. And Cancer brings us in for the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. That's three ones. Holy crap. We're on our way, man. Whew. Intense. Heavy Leo and Scorpio so busted the frick does that mean i don't know maybe you do leave a comment down below tell me what's going on with all this shiznit here and uh yeah tell me what resonates um if it did and you'd like to inquire about an extended or a personal aquarian reading for yourself with me you may two of wands or two of swords in this case jesus uh did choose to do so by emailing me at archerastrology at gmail.com where we will hook up connect find each other and take it from there chariot energy right Remember, of course, dear Aquarius, this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart of Aquarius because we are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology and we'll read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. And set the bell, like I mentioned, because I go live every Sunday nights at 9 p.m. for the Astrology Podcast and Monday nights at 8 p.m. for the All Signs Aries to Pisces. You first them with a card for each sign. We get extra nosy because we like to do that stuff. So until next time we meet, um, stay safe and be loved because I love you. So until then, I'm out of here. Peace out. Archer out. Yeah. Chariot. See ya.